The scowling face of Australia's dystopian COVID nightmare has let slip the truth. No matter how hard you comply, no matter how much you humiliate yourselves, Life is never returning to normal. Dr. Kerry Chant, who previously ordered Australians not to even talk to each other. Don't start up a conversation. Now admits that some restrictions will remain in place even if everyone takes regular booster shots. I stress, we will not be ever having to go back to pre-COVID levels. We always gonna have to be mindful that COVID exists. We're gonna have to engage with booster shots. We're gonna have to engage with advice from time to time when we see outbreaks we're going to have to respond so it's it's not going to go back to normal we can't deny that we're going to have to live with covid um, but having those very high vaccination levels will allow us to have more minimal restrictions or more minimal um, public health measures in place as we as we navigate the future years with covid keep complaining idiots <laughs> Meanwhile, huge packs of police continue to hunt down dangerous criminals for not wearing masks outside. Two guys in Sydney were pursued by a cop car after being spotted out not wearing masks. They desperately tried to duck into a gas station to buy them. And even though they were wearing them when they stepped outside, the cops aggressively pounced and arrested them. A news station reported that by the end of the incident, 50 cops were on the scene. They got pounded, they got built. One down in handcuffs. The other cops five knees to his ribs. They're quickly outnumbered by the police backup. All well, the Sydney police were here. Over 50 police. Over 50 police. They block everything. 50 cops in response to two guys seen not wearing masks. In Melbourne, another guy was surrounded and arrested for the crime of not wearing a mask outside. I know, I know that you're not. Okay, but we have a situation where there's a coronavirus out there and the survival rate is slightly below 100%. And I'm not willing to accept that the government's willing to shut down businesses, mate, destroy people's hey, lives, mate. and to enforce abusive policy that is carried out by you guys. All day, all right? We're not here to ruin your day, sir. We're just here to ask you to move on. I don't need you. I've got every right to be here. I was born in Melbourne. This is my city. I've got no right to enforce to you. I'm not committing any of it. I'm not committing any of it. Yeah, you should probably tell me why before you grab me. You're under arrest. You're doing this? You're under Don't! Don't! Tyranny and forcing! You feel proud of yourselves? Huh? What's the f***ing survival rate of COVID? Answer me that! Where's COVID caused excess mortality? Get destroying people's f***ing lives for this! Australian authorities seem to be intent on inflicting a state of psychosis similar to learned helplessness. The outrage to the tyranny that they're imposing only seems to embolden them to impose more. Good news in Italy though, where cops removed their helmets in solidarity with anti-tyranny protesters. Scenes you'll never see in Australia's supposedly liberal democracy.